Hey guys, I wanted to make this video because I had a dream and in my dream um, I walked into this house and I had two girlfriends. They're my friends and they were in this really dim dark room and I'm running to them in urgency because I'm like, did you do it? Did you do it? And and they had no words. They just had their head down and it's just the room, the lighting, if I tell you, it was so dim and dark and devastating. It was sad. It was so sad in there. And I was just like, no, please tell me you didn't do it. And it was abortions. They got abortions. And I'm like feeling so sad. And I'm like, um, you know, all they felt was like empty inside, um, down. I mean, taking a life away. You're taking a life out of you. You don't really know. I feel like sometimes you don't, you get so scared. But anyway, they were like so down and I ran out the room, tried to go into the bathroom and there was this Asian girl there and she's like, do you need the bathroom? And I'm like, yes, I, I really need it. And when I stepped into the bathroom, I looked around and it was a huge bathroom and there was a bouquet of purple and orange flowers. And I looked at it and then I quickly was gonna make my video. That's what made me make this video today. I felt like I needed to make this video. Um, I feel like, at least speaking for me, I never had an abortion, but I was gonna do it. I was gonna have one. And I was gonna have one because I was afraid, I was scared. Um, I was like, how are we gonna manage a baby? Like, I don't, I don't even have a consistent job. I live with my mom. Um, we're struggling too. like this is impossible like there's no way that I could support a baby that's not on top of all the other things that runs through your mind as a young person you're like it's 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 about like it's just scared it's fear it's scared it's like you have to raise another human being I have to raise someone like me like I have to raise me in a little person I don't know how to do that. I don't, I haven't even babysat kids before, you know, like little babies. Like, I don't, I don't know what, like, or how, or I even denied it. I went into the clinic and I was like, um, they were like, uh, pass me the paper. And I was like, no, you're lying. And I threw the paper at the lady. She's like, you don't have to believe the paper. It's true. You're pregnant. And I was crying. I was like, oh my God, no, I love the guy I'm with, I really love him, and we make a great couple. I just, I don't think I'm ready for this. Um, and it was too late, I was pregnant. <laughs> um, it wasn't until my best friend met up with me after I called her, after I got out the clinic, and she was like, listen, you could do this. You know why you could do this? Because God wouldn't have gave you this if he wasn't gonna help you through this. She said, you got me, you got your family. I still think about it because I was scared. I didn't want to have an abortion, but I feel like it was my only option. And she was like, um, you got me, you got your family. You know, you got God. He's going to take care of you. And even if you don't see it right now, he's going to make sure you and Phoenix are okay. And I'm like, all right, I guess, you know, it took me a little while all day basically and you know um, I talked to my mom I talked to my dad and I was like guys I'm pregnant I told mom my boyfriend's mom everyone was happy about it I was like confused like why are you guys happy that I'm pregnant I'm young you know but they were and I feel like man when I think about it God was always there and um I felt like I had to tell you guys that because I can't imagine what it feels like to have an abortion. Um, the thing is, after I had Phoenix, I'm happy I had her because um, I was naive and young and didn't really look at the bad side of things. Um, I was a procrastinator. I didn't really have goals. I was just living my life. And uh, my daughter helped me, push me. Having her helped me want to be a better person. 
um, having her showed me that she had she has I'm her role model now I have to be the best me so she could be the best her you know and and it put all of that into perspective for me like she changed me for the better I mean I was a wild little girl and I feel like if she wasn't there I wouldn't who knows where I would have been I the choices I would have continued to make you know because I was looking for love in all the wrong places I don't know I just think like would me and my husband even be husband and wife right now if if I didn't have her would we still be together and I tell you that because when when I was six months pregnant, he had to go back to the Bahamas. Um, so he probably would have still had to had to go back to the Bahamas if I wasn't pregnant, you know. And I just don't know, and I don't care to even think about what my life would would be without her. She has done so much for me, and um, in the moment, it's scary. But um, I basically have a cousin and a best friend that would talk about their experience because they have done, they have done that before and it wasn't easy. And um, I just want to be the person here to tell you that you're not alone and you shouldn't be doing life on your own, you know, like maybe you don't have a support system around you maybe you don't really know no one like that you just feel alone in the world you don't have to do it you go on your knees and call on call on god i believe in jehovah god his son jesus i believe in them and i feel like if i didn't have god in my life i wouldn't be the person i am today and even if you're here right now and you're going through the motions of should I do this, should I not do this, I say don't do it because ah. I was in your place too. And and you know what? I'm thankful I didn't do it. And the people that have, have done it, they do feel like, man, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Some people are happy they've done it not happy i won't say happy but they're like it made their situation better but i feel like if there is someone faithful someone reliable it's god like when he says he is faithful he he don't let you down like a human lets you down he helps you um he helps you grow he helps you understand life he helps give you wisdom and the knowledge you need to continue to have a better life and even if he just gives you necessities, you're thankful. I mean, when you learn who God is and you get to know him, you understand how much he loves us and how much love he put into us when he made us. And um, that's a journey you need to take on your own. I believe getting in a relationship with God on your own terms um, you seeking him on your own you praying to get to know him because he says um, draw me near to me and I'll draw near to you and he will he will show himself to you he's a merciful graceful God and I know that because I'm here I'm here right now telling you and um, I wouldn't have my two beautiful daughters and my husband and living in Oregon and doing good right now if it wasn't for him my mom just died like i wouldn't be okay right now if it if it wasn't for him if i couldn't give him my pain if he couldn't put the people he put around me to support me i wouldn't be here right now so i hope that this helps someone i help i hope that it helps you um make your decision um I love you guys. 
and um, I hope that I hope that you know that you're loved and you're supported and it's not going to be easy but it will be worth it bye